Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is chapter 9, Reaction Kinetics. And today we're going to focus on 9.1, still in 9.1, rate of reaction, but this is part 2. So, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to determine the reaction rate based on experimental data given, and also determine the order of reaction by using the initial rate method or from experimental data. So let's start with how to determine order of reaction. Kita ada dua cara, satu daripada rate law, satu lagi kita boleh dapat daripada experimental data. So let's start with this equation. Given this equation here, and they bagi rate equals to K concentration of NO square times concentration of H2. Jadi first kali untuk dapatkan order of reaction for each reactant, kita just tengok saya ada punya power dekat rate law ini. Jadi kita tahu sudah bahawa the reaction is second order with respect to NO dan dia adalah first order with respect to H2. Kita tengok power dia saja. Next, untuk cari dia punya overall order of reaction, kita just tambah power untuk kedua-dua order tadi lah. So, overall order sama dengan 2 tambah 1, so equals to 3. Next, try this for. So, given this data here, A plus B produce products, and basically, experiment ni dibuat sebanyak 3 kali dia repeat, and dia ubah-ubah initial concentration of A and B, the reactants, and kita tengok ada efek dekat dia punya initial rate lah. So, now, this is also called as initial rate method ya guys. So, solution dia adalah, first kali, kita buat rate expression dulu, ataupun rate law. Rate equals to K, A to the power of X, B to the power of Y. Kita tidak tahu lagi kan, dia punya uh, order berapa. So, kita akan cari X and Y sekarang. That's the order of reaction. So, first yang apa kita kena buat adalah, kita kena tengok dulu data yang dia bagi ni. So, saya ambil dua eksperimen. Let's say 1 and 2. Kalau kita perhatikan betul-betul, concentration untuk B, okay, species B dekat case 1 and 2 ini, dia kasih maintain 0.2. Sementara concentration of A dia ubah dan initial rate pun berubah. Jadi, kita buat ayat comparing eksperimen 1 and 2. Okay. Rate, okay, rate 1 over rate 2. Okay. Sama dengan K times with concentration of A to the power of X and B to the power of Y okay, over K lagi sekali concentration of A to the power of X concentration of B to the power of Y okay, sekarang kita gantikan masuk value ikut uh, apa yang ada dalam table lah sebelum tu by the way red constant ni sama je kan dah kisahlah apa dia punya equation jadi kita boleh cancel out jadi kalau ikutkan sini kita masukkan value red 1 dengan red 2 daripada table and then concentration of A daripada table 1 uh, experiment 1 sorry is 0.010 to the power of x and then b pula 0.020 to the power of y okay and then untuk eksperimen 2 pula masukkan nilai dia 0.020 to the power of x and 0.020 to the power of y okay now kalau kita tengok lagi sekali di sini both uh, untuk yang b punya concentration kan maintain 0.020 to the power of y sama sebiji so kita boleh cancel out the whole thing jadi kita selesaikan guna calculator kita akan dapat sebelah kiri 1 over 2 and sebelah kanan 0.010 over 0.020 to the power of x kita boleh gabungkan jadi kita boleh simplify jadi 1 over 2 equals 1 over 2 to the power of x jadi secara perbandingan x adalah 1 ok next mari kita tengok pula kalau eksperimen 2 and 3 kita boleh pilih sebenarnya mana-mana yang kita mau kita boleh pilih 2 and 3 ataupun 1 and 3 tapi lebih mudah kalau kita cari ada yang constant di sana jadi dalam kes ini saya compare 2 and 3 so compare eksperimen 2 and 3 macam biasa red 2 over red 3 ok equals to K, concentration of A times to the power of X, times concentration of B to the power of Y, and sekali lagi di bawah. And sekali lagi, kali ini K boleh cancel out sebab dia samakan, maintain. Jadi, selebihnya kita teruskan dengan masukkan value. So, 4.8 exponent negative 3 over 1.92 exponent negative 3 equals to concentration of A is 0 0.020 to the power of X, and then Y 0 0.020 to the power of Y. Okay, divide by concentration of A is 0 0.040, oh sorry, 0 0.020 to the power of X and 0 0.40 to the power of Y untuk P. Jadi, apa kita tengok sini, kita nampati bahawa untuk kali ini, concentration of A yang sama pula. So, kita boleh cancel out. Jadi, kita kena bayangkan yang mana yang sama tu kita akan cancel out sebenarnya. So, kita boleh cari satu lagi order. So, kali ini kita dapat Y lah. Uh, jadi, kita simplify seperti ini, maka kita akan dapati Y sama dengan Dua. So based on this, the reaction is first order with respect to A, first order ya untuk A, and then the reaction is second order with respect to B. Kita akan cari satu-satu kan? Right. 
So remember the tips ya guys. Okay, make sure cari yang mana yang sama concentration untuk selesaikan and dapat order for each reactor. Next, try this five. The table below shows the experimental data obtained at 27 degrees Celsius for CH3CLCH3 plus NOH produce CH3CHOH CH3 and plus NaCl. So seperti biasa kali ini dia bagi juga tiga experimental data. So dia suruh cari order of reaction with respect to two chloropropane and sodium hydroxide. Masing-masing lah and write the rate law and determine the rate constant. So first step kita kena buat write the rate law ataupun rate expression dulu. So rate equals to K times concentration of chloropropane yang panjang itu <laughs> times dengan concentration of NaOH. Dan kali ini saya mula tak pakai huruf A dan B lah instead of saya pakai X and Y. It's up to you guys. Okay. So now kita compare mana yang sama kan. So kalau kita tengok 1 and 2 uh, concentration of chloropropane sama maintain. So mari kita guna comparing 1 and 2. So Macam biasa, rate 1 over rate 2 equals to K, concentration of chloropropane dengan concentration of NH. Kita ganti masuk direct lah sebab panjang mau tuliskan. Jadi, K darab 0.115 to the power of A and then 0 0.25 to the power of B. And then di bawah 0 0.15 to the power of A and 0 0.50 to the power of B. So, K macam biasa boleh cancel. Dia rate constant, sama aja. And then, oh nilai nilai rate kita masukkan. Okay, seperti dalam jadual tu. And then, kita boleh... Cancel mana yang sama di sini So concentration of uh, chloropropane sama So boleh cancel out And then untuk concentration of NaO Kita pun boleh kasih simplify seperti ini And we get B equals to 1 Which is the order of reaction with respect to NaOH So we can conclude that The reaction is first order with respect to sodium hydroxide Okay guys, do you realize that tadi kita compare eksperimen 1 and 2 in which concentration of chloropropane adalah sama, 0.15. Jadi, at the end, kita akan cancel out dan kita akan cancel out A sekalian. Jadi, kita boleh dapat B. So, sekarang kalau kita mau cari B, uh, sorry, mau cari A pula, kita kena cari supaya yang concentration of NOH pula yang sama. Supaya boleh cancel out. Jadi, di sini kita nampak bahawa concentration of NOH is maintained at eksperimen 1 and eksperimen 3 which is 0.25. Jadi, untuk dapatkan concentration, uh, sorry, order of reaction with respect to chloropropane, kita boleh compare eksperimen 1 and 3. So, kita dapati bahawa rate 1 over rate 3 equals to, macam biasa, K and this time 0 0.15 to the power of A, 0 0.25 to the power of B and then divide by K times 0 0.45 to the power of A and 0 0.25 to the power of B. And kita boleh ganti siap-siap rate of reaction dekat bahagian dalam equation. And kita cancel out mana-mana yang sama, which is in this case k sama dengan k sama. And then 0.25 to the power of b sama kan berulang boleh ganti. And at the end we get 1 over 3 equals to 0.15 over 0.45 to the power of a combined. And kita dapati bahawa a equals to 1. So a is the Rate of re order of reaction with respect to two chloropropane. So kita boleh conclude bahawa the reaction is first order with respect to. Okay, saya ringkaskan WRT with respect to two chloropropane. So that means the reaction is first order with respect to both reactants dalam this in this case lah. And mari kita tengok pula next question adalah untuk cari rate law and determine the rate constant. Jadi rate law senang je terus rate equals to concentration of each reactants itu tu chloropropane and NaOH and we both know that power dia masing-masing satu so tidak tulis pun tidak apa. Next kita mau cari rate constant K. So in this case kita boleh pilih mana-mana daripada tiga eksperimen tadi. Let's say kita mau dalam case ini kita mau pakai eksperimen 1 atau eksperimen 2 eksperimen 3 kita akan dapat value yang sama juga untuk K nanti tidak percaya boleh cuba sendirilah so I take eksperimen 1 so in this eksperimen 1 rate kita ganti masuk value dia 3 eksponen negatif 3 molar per minit ya guys equals to K times concentration of A is 0.15 molar and then concentration of B is 0.25 molar dua-dua power dia satu kan so tidak tulis pun tidak apa and then kita ganti masuk kita selesaikanlah kiri dan kanan and Jangan lupa kita kena cari juga unit untuk rate constant ni. Unit ni wajib tulis. Jadi tulis betul-betul. Jadi K, okay, kita selesaikan yang kalkulator dulu. Nombor-nombor tu and we should get 0.08. And then untuk unit kita boleh cancel out molar dengan molar atas bawah. And we get molar negatif 1 and min minit negatif 1. K, rate constant unit. And betul lah kan overall order dia 2. Jadi kalau kita check balik memang untuk second order dia punya unit adalah M-1 
S minus 1 atau M minus 1 minute minus 1. So let's do some recap. So to find order of reaction ada dua cara sama ada daripada red law ataupun daripada experimental data ataupun kita panggil juga sebagai initial rate method. And tips untuk initial rate method tadi, kita compare eksperimen yang ada similar value of concentration supaya kita boleh cancel out. Jadi lagi senang mau cari the other order. Alright? Now test yourself with this question. Okay, there are four experiments that are given and you should get these answers. And also, this another question and you should get these answers. You may pause the video to try these questions. So that's the end of 9.1. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you.